brand new in box NBA Jam Arcade One Up Arcade One Up cabinet here. I'm going to do an unboxing of this to show you guys what's inside. So I pre-ordered this probably back in maybe February or March of uh, this year. So it's finally here. It actually came a couple days ago. Uh, it's been sitting in my basement. So I figured I'd finally give some time to this today um, and do an unboxing video and show you what's inside. Hopefully it's easy to set up. Uh, we'll see how long it can take. I'm going to show you guys what's inside. So let's, let's kind of get right to it. All right, so you see we got the uh, seal still on. It says, once opened, all returns and exchanges and services are provided by the manufacturer. So we will see. You can see it's got a bit of good damage um, here on this one quarter. One quarter here from FedEx or whoever dropped it off, but hopefully we'll see no other damages inside. But you can see that the seals are still in contact. The box weighs a little over, I think, 100 pounds. Uh, no, it says 99 pounds, so just, just under 100 pounds. But So let's get opening. We're going to officially break the seal here, if you will. open looks good so far nothing looks like it's, like it's punctured yet a little bit of damage again on that side got our official arcade one up manual which I'm sure we'll need this for all the directions don't eat that um, some styrofoam and looks like our tool kit, Allen, um, Allen wrenches, some screws. We're definitely going to need those. I'm going to go back to the manual to see if there is a actual uh, official process here to see what order I've got. I'll show you guys here. So I've got a couple boxes. This might be probably our monitor. Um, Looks like our stool. This set actually comes with uh, the set that I ordered. Comes with the light up marquee and the stool and the riser. I've got the riser, I think, upstairs in a separate box. So I'm not sure if that's in here or whatnot, or if it may be in here. I don't know. I, know. I had another package that came the other day, so I don't know if it's in there. Or not. But that is how it looks. New in box when you first get it. Let's take a look and see. With the instructions today. This is for looks like a online multiplayer setup. So this cabinet does feature so this cabinet this cabinet does feature online multiplayer mode. So this looks like the directions to set that up, so we'll leave that till later. Uh, it's in French, in English, guarantee, warranty, hopefully we won't need that. Light up deck protector and let them know when I get a downloadable update. So all that stuff seems like we'll need later. So let's get to it. Uh, assembly instructions, a little bit of a thick book, but it doesn't look too bad. Assembly instructions for your new NBA Jam Arcade 1UP cabinet here. So it looks like all you're gonna need is a Phillips screwdriver, provide you the rest. And let's get to it. So step number one, there really isn't a step one, just, or is that page, page, page two. So the hardware we're gonna need to find, it's gonna show you the artwork for the, the bezel, the cab, and everything. And it looks like we just start getting after it. So it's got us doing a bunch of dollies, it looks like. So I guess it doesn't really have any order to how we open up the boxes. So let's just start. So this looks like all of our um, hardware plus uh, power source plus uh, joysticks. So we'll need that here in a second. Uh, 
Now this looks like the marquee, if you can see that. It looks like the marquee for it. Really don't need that right now. This looks like our uh, NBA Jam stool. Maybe you can see that. We'll get a close up of that later. Again, don't really need that right now. This looks like the light up display for the actual monitor. Excuse me, the marquee. Let's see what this is. Get some styrofoam out of here. So, this looks like, um, obviously, they, the bulk of the cabinet here. Again, this one comes with a riser, too, so it'll give a little bit of height. But let's do a quick inspection on that. Looks pretty clean. So we'll set that aside over here. Let's see what's next. Heavy, definitely heavy. Uh, another box. There's some goodies in it. We'll see what that is in a second. More styrofoam down there. Another box. No idea. And then no more. Another box. So a lot of boxes within a box. And then the rest you see we're empty. So we'll throw this aside right in and see what we got. Let's be nice and careful here. Yeah, I don't know what. You don't know what's in here. The, uh, this looks like the assembly for the stool, which again, this set does come with. It's a little bit of a premium. So it was about $100, I think, more. This set, I think, was $4.99. Um, so then here's our control deck, control panel, which looks pretty awesome. Um, looks really clean, actually. Just looking to see. I'm going to leave it in the packaging for right now, but so far so good. Looking. So let's see what's in here. We're looking for, I think we're looking for, the, for, for this piece to start. So let's see if we can get started. We don't need the control panel yet. This says fragile on the box. So I'm assuming this is the monitor. This looks like what we need here. It's a combination of, you know, it's kind of weird is that, you know, you would think on the boxes, they would tell you like, oh, box one, this, this part's gonna be in here. It doesn't really, at least from what I can get, it doesn't really tell me parts. It just tells me the parts. Doesn't really tell me the order what boxes they're in, which would be nice. Let me get that 
starting. Again, a circle, hat, halo. I'm gonna assume that for the uh, barst, the, the stool, but it looks like it's packed in with the, again, you can see some of the art here, hopefully. NBA Jam, NBA Jam TE, and then um, Hang Time, which is awesome. This is really cool. Really, really looking forward to this. I was super excited um, the day they announced it, I actually pre-ordered it. So this is G. So we actually found part G. We have it here. So, and then stop. Do not return to store. So this is our monitor. Let's just take a look at it. So this is our monitor. Looks like we got like a little basketball court on here, or maybe that's just a design, I don't know. Um, the little promo on there as well for a chance to win a home arcade package. So, arcade one up monitor. I'm gonna set that actually to the side here. So now we need some hardware. So, we're gonna need A times four. This is, this is where the fun does not begin. So we're gonna obviously time and see how long this will take us to with the video. But we've got our, we've got some dollies, I mean uh, dolls, wooden dolls, not dollies. Screws, power supply, we'll do that later. I assume that's a wall anchor, some kind of connection there. Again, four and more. More and more parts. I'm gonna try to keep that the best I can in there for now and go from here. So, yeah, you use wooden dolls. Let's see this little thing. like the back of the, the cab. This okay. See that? Looks pretty good. See any little bit of a bubble right there. But I'm not gonna complain. Looks pretty looks pretty good so far. Well it actually is nice they do have little letters on the back. So it says age, seven says G. So these ones do say B on them. So that's actually kind of cool. So it'll tell you the letter of the screen you need, which is a little helpful. Most Places don't do that. Do you have anything from assembling furniture at home? So we're going to take two of these bad boys. I'm going to take G. So if you put it this way, line it up. Like I 
I said, you're gonna need a screwdriver. So, have that ready. KKL. So, assuming that's now in this box here. So, we're looking for KKL. Oh geez, this one's heavy. says you're doing here is put the dowels on the end all right so now what we're doing is we're going to attach these to this piece here so they're just going to hang off the side if you will so this piece is going to go here it's kind of weird so, we're going to attach this here. So, you guys can see. That's what we're looking like at this point in time. So now we're on the step five. What we're going to do is get the monitor. So it wants us to get the monitor now, which is over here. And we need two of these, we need four of these brackets and eight of these screws. So we're looking for F and C. So this is our monitor. Let's open this guy up. the we're gonna attach the monitor now we've got the brackets on the monitor we're gonna attach it to the cabinet here. so let's get going with that right here looks like and then we take our C screws This is going to be for the, um, looks like for the marquee light display. So we're going to find piece B. We're going to set this to the side. So let's take it out. Take a look at it. That's cool. Let's get it right side up. Looks pretty 
cool. Maybe a jam light up marquee. So we're gonna get some more vowels on that. more of these screws. On to the next page. So now we're just going to connect the two of them. in the right way. It's kind of wonky, honestly. All right, but now we gotta take the other panel E. It's gonna be this guy. It's not like Both sides hooked up, monitors in, monitors in, backs on, both sides are on. Pretty good. Now, so that should, we should be able to stand it up. So let's stand it up. Okay, looking pretty good cords hanging down the back. Looks good. So now we got to hook on 
these screws onto the side that we haven't hooked it up to yet. Again, that's pretty cool. NBA Jam, TE, hang time looks good, looks clean. Looks like we can do just drop it down in there. So I'm going to take J and looks like we just drop this guy. That looks right. Now it's saying we're going to take the film off of our display. So let's let's do that. So it's a little weird, like left, like little bits of film around the screws. Cause like they put the screws on. Maybe that's something you can clean up later, I don't know. All right, so now we're going to hook up the control pad to the deck here. So let's get our control deck. We would tape some protective film on deck protector. So now we've got our control panel. We took off, there's a vinyl film over it here. And I'm just gonna take it and there's a plug right here. It's gonna hook right into here to get your control deck started. So let's drop this in. joystick handles. One thing I noticed is that on these there's a see there's like a this side and there's this side. So I think they go on like this on top. You also notice on here this side is blue and this side is red. So I try to make those match. It doesn't say that in the instructions but you want to have one team here and another team here. So let's go ahead and put those on. So you just Again, putting those on. And then the next thing you're gonna do, once that's in, you should hook up the four screws. Right 
this cord. And then M comes down here. I think that's right. M just hooks in there. That's the sound. So I'm just saying B and C. And I think you just put these guys up like that. So those are in. So I've got this cord hooked into each other here. Sounds in here. This is like the power supply, and this is for the light for the marquee. And then this is your Wi-Fi. Like I was saying, got looks like your sound here that is going up to your M panel underneath here. Got your Wi-Fi connector again going over to your looks like your antenna for your Wi-Fi. And this is looks to be your your main power supply, which you're gonna run out through here. And then this is the light for the marquee. And you're just hooking both of those up to the splitter here. So, and again, you can see where the control deck goes back here. And wiring's a little messy back there. Hopefully it's not noisy, but we'll get back to the project here. We're gonna install the back panel. Probably a little, little cap here, and I think you can, so you can see it's got the little cap on it here, and I think I can pull that through kind of as much as I want, which I'm going to leave it like that for now. There's no pre-drilled hole for some reason, unless I missed it, but... I mean, at the end of the day, it's on, but it's a little weird. Um, all right, so then I'm taking a power supply. Ta da! So we are circling business there. All right, so we, I think we finished the cab, actually. So it's all done. Talk about, you know, you should anchor it to the wall. And now it looks like we've got the makings of the tutorial for the riser. So let's take a look at the cabinet real quick, and then let's take a, let's get the riser built. And that's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Let's see. So you can see how tall it is. So. I'm up about 5, 10 and a half, 5, 11. And again, you can see where it comes up to. If you don't have a riser, you'd have to pretty much be on your hands and knees playing it. So uh, it looks good. It looks good. It's good. So let's move that to the side and we'll get the riser built. So we're going to move this. Looks like the, the center part. take some screws. We got our G bag of screws. I have not used the G's yet. So it looks like just move this now. Get those started. Instead of keep falling on me. Okay, so I gotta that's taking a while. So So this one goes here. So it's the thing, it's like it's like the same little IKEA furniture, right? Same on the back 
side here. Okay, so we've got our riser. Got a little bit of weight to it, feels good. Now we've got to add these two guys. Our Q looks like we just. Oh, are you kidding me? So, one item note there are holes here, but not here. So, that means I put, I put one of these in actually upside down. The thing it did not tell you nor does it have it displayed in the instructions until, of course, you get to the step. Well, regardless, it's, it's particle board. It should go right through. So, I'm gonna line those holes up. Um, also, too, as I'm talking about that, another thing here, it's get a little dicey towards the end. So you can see this end that has a bigger hole for where the screw should go through. So you want, looks like you want that end. So you want the sticker down, it looks like. Now, mine should go through just fine here, hopefully. If not, well, you know, we'll have an issue toward the end, which is kind of always the story of life. Now, we are on the last page, as you can see, and we appear to just be you're gonna put the cab right on top of these and then uh, screw it down from there. So let's do that. So I thought there would be, so you're right now what I'm supposed to be doing is, and it says here, there are no pre-drilled holes on the arcade side panels. Use self-tapping screws H to fix the riser and arcade to prevent serious injury or health. So there are no, what it's saying here, again, if I tilt it up, you'll see there's no, there's no holes for these screws to go in. So you got to kind of, I guess, figure out where you want it and then set it. So here we go. We're going to screw those in. It seems a little weird. All right, so we got one going. Officially plugged in. I was kind of expecting a click there, but I didn't hear anything. Now I've got my owner's manual and a couple other things. That's cool. Arcade One Up logo popping up. Got my English owner's manual, live play instructions, French, we don't need it in French. Gotta crank that volume up. You can see the volume. Gotta kinda give that a, there's no click. I want there to kinda be like a click when I hit it. There's no click on the button. Uh, let's see what it says. You need to set up interconnection, press live button to get access to leaderboards or find others to play. So Tim Kitzrow was actually at our show last year, GameCleveland.com. Um, network connection type, be wireless. Then what do I hit? A.
See if we can find our wireless network here. Like there's a update available. So it's gonna do a quick update. That's kind of cool. So there's already this game just came out four days ago. Well, that's kind of cool. I just noticed the uh, marquees light up too. That's cool. Looks nice. So we're back in business, booted up again. Looks like we're coming back to the main menu. See if we hear Tim Kitzrow. It says refreshing here. You need to create a public name as appear in the leaderboards, available games and more. Press the live button. Oh, so we got to put in our email address. Here, let's try this. Visible to everyone. Uh, choose who can uh, anyone. Yeah, of course. Choose who can see the leaderboard. Everyone. Choose the order. Choose the order people appear in your available games. Newest. So here you are online. Oh, so you can see. Uh, should we play online? First game? So yeah, I could definitely use like a subwoofer or something. Um, Boom shakalaka! That's pretty funny, you could do that. Boom shakalaka! So every time you hit the live button. Boom shakalaka! Cover your ears, it's pretty loud. Love you, Tim Kitzrow. But that is crazy loud. Um, I, I do want to see... How do you go back to like... So if I... Boom, oh, so I can leave game there. Oh, it's okay. So this is how you go back to the dashboard. So it's got TE, so I was playing NBA Jam. Now it's got TE, which I personally like a lot better. Um, and then hang time. You can set up your visibility. So there's no games online right now, so it tells me that not a lot of people are... This guy's played 140 games, 100% win. Oh, look at how low these numbers are right now. About four games? So we gotta get... So you can see... Oh, and that's cool too. So it'll show you by NBA Jam, there are no games. TE, no games. Hang time. Oh, real games. Three spots, three. Nine seconds ago. I have not, I don't think I've ever played hang time. I'm gonna admit that. Let's see if it, we not, oh, there we go. We're connecting, Jason's game. Let's see. Am I playing? I have no idea what's going on right now. So I'm pressing things, but. Oh, so I'm currently playing as player two right now. Put in a handle. So it looks like he's got a buddy playing with him. I'll put in my handle as beef. So. Man, Cleveland stinks.
how you Shoot it. So I think he's got, I think this other guy's got another guy playing with him, maybe? I have no idea. I don't know if I've ever actually played hang time. I'm gonna admit that. First game I've heard in hang time and online 78 to 45. So <laughs> I don't know about this online competition is going to be that hard, but it's kind of cool. Nick Anderson. Hardaway didn't even do anything. He left the game. Oh, there, look at that. Points of the game. That's kind of cool. Oh, Cleveland Gaming Classic. One rebound in a game. <laughs> it's not a very good stat. So you can see this. It's kind of cool. So it's, it's loading the stats as we go through. So you can see the assists here. You can see our handle, Cleveland Gaming Classic. It's refreshing. Looks like it refreshes real time in the background. Best offensive player. Boom, 78 points. <laughs> Almost died for first. Cleveland Gaming Classic, top of the board. Best defense. I think that must be the total spread, maybe, then? I don't know. I think that's points against. That must be points against. Best overall player. Well, we've only played one game, so I don't know why we have zero points, what that means. Greatest players, win-loss percentage, 1-0. That's kind of cool, that showing those stats. Biggest winners, we should have been spread here. Oh, geez, look at this guy. He's already played 144 games. He's getting up the stats online before all, getting all while uh, everyone's <laughs> still new at the game. I think it's a good strategy. I want to get my, uh, love to get NBA Jam tricks. Yeah, I can probably get off this leaderboard in a minute. I'll have to hop online tonight. But that's pretty cool how it shows the streaks and the players. This is Jeff Oswald coming for you, Jeff. Got you dialed in. So, I mean, overall, I feel like the, the resolution is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. The sound on it, it's... It's okay. I mean, you can tell. This thing is crazy loud. Like, insane. If you're playing on 15, it's got to be like in a bar somewhere. I don't even know if that is insanely loud. Um, it doesn't have, like, any bass at all to it, which is a little unfortunate. Um, I wish it did have, like, a little subwoofer or, or something, but... Boom shakalaka! It looks really nice, the monitor looks awesome. I'd like maybe to upgrade those speakers though. Here 
to touch on one more piece here real quick that I wasn't even aware existed on this cabinet. So I got my cabinet at GameStop pre-ordered, like I said earlier in the video, and I was digging around the internet and then looking at this actually afterwards, and I noticed that this is not just a panel on this machine here, it's actually a LED light strip. I did not know that was on my machine. So if you can see here, when I hit it, turns red, turn green. Ugh, you can see a lot of fingerprints there already from a lot of playing. Blue, uh, looks like gold or yellow. Purple, and back to blue. And a bunch of other colors here. It looks like it just scrolls through them. So overall, I mean, that is pretty solid. I did not honestly even know that was on this cabinet. So, wow, I mean, that's super cool. I love that touch, that feature. That's real nice. Again, it's nothing um, insane. I actually have on my um, all my cabinets here on the wall behind them. Actually, you can see it on the back of the Donkey Kong machine. I have um, LED strips on the back of them. But this is, it looks super cool down here when all the lights are off. So this is great. I actually think it's a super cool, fun feature. Again, I paid a premium for this cabinet because it came with the obviously came with a riser and the stool, but I have to imagine it costs at least 30 or $20 to put this on there. So again, a nice little touch there from Arcade 1UP. I do not know if that comes standard or not, or if it's only on the premium package. So make sure you check that out. All right, guys. So that is the um, NBA Jam Arcade 1UP camera. It's kind of cool. I'm liking the online features. Looks pretty cool. I love it. Um, you can also see how it stacks up, you know, like side by side comparison to um, some other classic. Like that's a obviously a Donkey Kong cabinet, and then there's a Dig Dug. And I got a Popeye there, but the Popeye and Donkey Kong are the same size. But again, you can see it's definitely smaller. What's nice is though, the control panel actually does come to about the same height, and there's nice distance between them. I feel like that that worked really well. So again, overall pretty good. I think the overall construction took me about maybe an hour, hour and a half to put together feel pretty good about it didn't feel didn't feel like um i didn't feel like it was not holding up or not sturdy the sound definitely could be better so i'll look into that see if i can maybe change out the speaker or just plug it into something else i mean I just because all it is is just a external hookup so maybe i just put a nice uh, alexa back there or something or a or a um a speaker, external speaker, to put it back there so it sounds a little bit better. But anyways, cool. Love it. Um, I'll give it overall a thumbs up. Nice job. Arcade one up. Love that marquee. Got to still put together my stool down here, but that'll be the next project. So thanks for tuning in, guys.